whole team and myself have been sent on a mission to create the most crazy and the most unique drift video that we can create. And here's how it went. Koigers, aka what a actor. Hollywood call me when you need me. Take 45. <laughs> <laughs> High budget production, but I need to clean my own spot, man. I just freaking love to go sideways and fast as possible. This is one of my favorite tricks. And back in 2017, we shot a video called Ride and Slay. This was our first big production video and since then and now we shot over 100 more videos and we learned how to properly showcase tricks, what's important and so on. And I said to my team, let's challenge ourselves and let's create another epic video. And yeah, the idea was raw sound, raw power, no music, just me and the bike and just going sideways. And yeah, that was the base of the idea and then Dominic came and he said, let's spice things up. <laughs> <laughs> so Rock called me and he had another big project in his pocket. And since the ride is lay one wasn't so clear to the audience, I said we had to do a perfect story and a story that youngsters can understand on uh, YouTube. But we had uh, really crazy ideas, but I didn't know if this is going to be possible in such a short time. The idea of Ride and Slay for me goes way back into 2016 when we first started pitching the project to uh, different sponsors. But back then it was much harder to get uh, approval or to convince the sponsors for a social media project like that because we weren't big enough on social media. I got a call from KTM and they asked me, would you be interested to use our strongest naked bike that we produce? And this is the KTM 1290 Super Duke R with the electronical suspension this time. I said, of course I want it. I always wanted to drift the Super Duke and my fans wanted to see me on that bike. So it was the perfect moment. I was shocked how much power this bike has. <laughs> completely stock, unchanged. I can do a rolling burnout in, in the sixth gear from zero to 200 kilometers per hour if I want. This bike has enough power and I can also drift in a first, second and third or even more if I had balls for it, but I was already on the limit with that bike. It was, uh, yeah, it is a fun bike. But it's a freaking beast. It's really dangerous if, if you don't know what you're doing. The tricky part on that project was actually owning two bikes. And this actually can jeopardize a project if I crash. So I can destroy one bike or both bikes. So we tried to find a solution to protect that bike. We found some nice protection parts that fits to the style and we don't change the visuals of that bike too much. And then we also adjusted the gear ratio for better drifts. Then we also adjusted the brake setup for my personal taste. And last but not least, the most crucial part in drifting is the proper tire choice. And we found a tire that holds the grip when it overheats. And this is actually the magic of drifting. You drift while you overheated the tire and you try to find the balance between losing and catching the grip. After the first practice, I saw that 
beast is not a joke man it has 180 horsepower short wheel base that doesn't want to lose grip and i need to push it on the limit where it loses the grip that's really tough on the body so i needed to step up my game in the fitness with my trainer and not only that but also filming is not just a two hours job it's a few days for 10 plus hours going all the time on the limit for the best shot it was the first time when i felt really high speed drifting so this was something for me that was on the edge it's actually a mental trick for me as a stunt rider as soon as i have a feeling i'm not protected well enough i cannot go on the limit i want to go so i needed to switch my textile gear gloves and the jacket with leather gear and then i needed to upgrade my helmet so i went from the normal plastic helmet for a carbon helmet so scorpion exo that is my guardian angel for many years uh, they sent me their latest carbon helmet and this is the exo 1400 air and this mix of gear gave me the confidence boost i felt way more safer it was a small detail that played a big role of me going fast in the corners two months of the preparation one week before we started to filming and then we see a really bad weather coming in we didn't have nothing else to do and we have to rewrite the storyboard and hope for the best we had two different locations to showcase the power of the beast first one was the big mountain pass that we found many years ago and was perfect to to drift and the second was the sawmill that had a paved floor and this is really hard to find so it was the biggest sawmill in slovenia so a new location uh, it was really cool for us filmmakers we had a lot of creative ideas to film there But for Rock, on the first location check, I immediately saw this would be a tricky one to pull off because yes, it was a new paved surface, but you had this fine dust that it's a no-go for drifters. It means a immediate crash. So we need to make sure that we clean as much as possible we could. And also time-wise, we shot in a very cold conditions in, in fall and both combinations of cold weather and not grippy surface it's completely an opposite what you need for drifting we were not sure already he said he's, it's gonna be really difficult but this was our only chance so we had to spice it up uh, the story with some trick shots like we call it so you're gonna see some big bulldozers uh, and the rocket is gonna come really close to them. Uh, it was a little bit dangerous, but you have to risk it to get the biscuit, right? Okay, so we, we had a good recipe for a viral video, but how to spice it even more. So we had a saw blade and we had the idea, okay, we're already on a sawmill, so come on guys, let's put it on this beast and so three days before we started to filming, we put some even more pressure on the rock engineers, put in some projects to put this sawmill on this bike. Dominic and his crazy ideas. Uh, so yeah, I called my engineers at Bargers Performance. I told them, please stop what you're doing now. We need to put that saw on this bike. Please make it work. And they did it in three days. Alan and David, uh, they were working from five in the morning to seven in the night every day. So they make it work and yeah, even too good. So thank you guys. My favorite moment of this video shoot was uh, to film uh, rock drifting through a big pile of sawdust and to see this in slow motion, it was just smiling face. If I look to the preparations and when we shot this 
drift video was how well the drifts worked, man. It was, uh, I surprised myself. And by far the favorite drift was the big, I call it U-turn drift. Uh, this was like such an epic feeling. Just go sideways and just open it to the maximum. That was my favorite thing. My favorite thing about the whole project is basically happening as you're watching the video. So if you can see down below a lot of views that I'm extremely satisfied. If not, you should click a like button and share it with your friends. So make me happy. I'm super happy and excited that this project is now online and everybody can see it. If you didn't see it, check the link in the description or click somewhere here up. And I need to give a big, huge thanks to you, my fans, to support me through the years so we can do this kind of uh, big projects. And of course, my sponsors uh, that we tried to convince so for so many years and now they really believe in our ideas and huge thanks to Scorpion Exo, uh, Magna, Avon Tires, Cardo, KTM and Bogorosh Performance and all other sponsors that play a smaller role in this project but an important role. Big thanks to Lib Bohin, the whole team that helped us to prepare the location to make everything possible there was nothing that is impossible to do for that project so huge thanks and last but not least the biggest thanks to the whole team uh, that without you guys this wouldn't be possible so i'm looking forward for the next video project the next big project that we're gonna do with crazy ideas and i'm gonna say until then rock on rock on rock on Started from the bottom, now we're here. Exactly. Bam. Ah! <laughs> hey, Cardo, order pizza. <laughs> when you're tired, we add special sound effects. Boom. <laughs> 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 <laughs>